Uh, we have an update now this morning to a story that News Nation brought you first. Hundreds of customers from Hertz Rental Car Company uh, say that they were falsely accused of stealing the rental cars that they actually legitimately loaned out. Uh, Hertz is now looking to settle. In a statement to News Nation this morning, a company spokesperson says Hertz has sent settlement offers to about three dozen individuals who had a negative experience with our company, adding, quote, we expect some of our offers will be for more money than the proof of claim filed for these individuals. Some of these offers will be for significantly less. Now, according to court documents, some of those customers uh, with negative experiences, they were arrested at gunpoint. Uh, one customer, Julius Burnside, spent months in jail uh, before he was vindicated. Our Rich McHugh sat down with him to hear his story. Listen. I thought it was a joke. I didn't think it was real. Like, you, you're telling me I got a warrant for my arrest for something I paid for. That's not possible. Did you ever say, Hertz, look, yeah. I have the receipts, I have my bank statements, yeah. you guys are clearly in error? Yeah. And what did they say? I got taken up with the police department. Seven months later, I was forced to sign a plea deal to get out of jail. Everything was dismissed, overturned. I cried. I cried, no. Seven months is a long time yeah. to sit in jail yeah. for something that you did not do. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, Rich McHugh, you've been following the story from the beginning, uh, so our thanks to you for this investigation. Is it surprising to you uh, that Hertz is making this particular offer? It's not surprising to me, Adrian. It's just surprising to me that, it, that it's taken this long. As you know, we've been reporting on this since uh, over a year, like last year, and we've been, it's, it's been happening for years and years before that. So the fact that we're, we're finally now, after story after story that we've done, just getting to this uh, is a little bit surprising. The CEO was out in April saying he wants to do right by customers that were caught up in this. But I think what what happened here is that th they lost this. The Hertz lost in it appears that they've lost in bankruptcy court and letting all these cases go to individual state courts. And I, it seems that if if those cases were allowed to pro progress to state courts, this could get very costly for Hertz. In terms of um, a Hertz spokesperson speaking out, you actually got in touch with them directly. What did they say? So I spoke to them late last night. They said basically what they said mirrored a lot of what they said in the statement, but that they are put out an initial offer to about three dozen uh, claimants. Now, it's important to note that there are, I believe there are over 330 people who have uh, filed claims or are in this process. So this is like approximately 10%. They said there are more to come. I pressed them on how many uh, the dollar amounts, you know, they wouldn't disclose anything. Anything They said there's a range. But if you take the totality of, of all, the, all, all that would, they were seeking in court, it's well over $700 million. Whoa. And that number could go higher if they were to proceed to state courts. So I, I'm, I'm guessing these are in a range, this is probably a lot of money. I, 700 million, I would classify that as a lot of money. Uh, we heard from Julius Burnside, one of those customers who I think has the worst experience uh, that we've heard about uh, That's right. being detained uh, for months. Um, but you've spoken to other customers who were arrested as well. Um, are, are they willing to settle? Are they, are they thankful uh, that Hertz is now offering this kind of a settlement? I think settlement was always, uh, you know, a possibility for for these these clients because this is not criminal, or at least these cases are not criminal. So I think at the end of the day, they're seeking damages. Yes, uh, I think they want to see Hertz do the right thing and and give them what they what they want. And I think they also want to see public apologies. So while the settlement offers, if if they are in line with their expectations, that that might pacify some of them. It might might not. Some of them either. Like I, I can't imagine Julius Burnside will accept anything, you know, less than a lot of money for sitting in prison for seven months for something he didn't do. So All right. uh, that remains to be seen. Yeah, we will find out. Rich, thank you. Thanks, Adrian. Coming up on Morning in America. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.